God expects you to have a dream. He has a God-given appointment for you. He has a vision over this house. He has a vision over your home. He has a vision over you as a married couple. He has a vision over you as an individual. He has a dream. And listen, do not qualify the dream as just being one little category of a breakthrough because you bought a home. That's not a God dream. That is a God provision and a God blessing that comes because you're in covenant, but that is not a God dream. A God dream is when you have no capacity to bring that thing out of you if it wasn't for the one who put it in you. In other words, no one can get the glory for that unless it's God. No one can explain it. No one can talk about it and not say only God could do that because God-sized dreams go further than you can imagine or think if a mortgage company can do it then it's not a god-sized dream if you just need to get your credit score up it's not a god-sized dream we have reduced the lord down to our practicalities of really the place we're supposed to live as sons and daughters and we have made god now to be like the santa claus of our life and if we feel like he is there when we need the new car or we need the new breakthrough then somehow that's what the dream was no 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 a god dream is something that you know at the core can i come down here am i loud okay i didn't know it's, I'll probably go back up and come back down. It's something at the core that it gets on the inside of you that when someone raises up a standard against it, you can't even, you don't even know sometimes how to put in words. All you know is, is when it comes against, you got that something. It's like when you walk in the room and, and you know there's opposition towards you as a person. That's when you know it's hitting the God-sized dream because it's coming against the nature of who God's made you to be. It's not just coming against the provision of God in you. See, I don't know who I'm talking to, but God wants to begin to let you dream again because some of you have backed up. You said the opposition is too great. There's too much coming against me. It must it must not be the timing of the Lord. It must not be what God wants. No, 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 no. If it's in there, God put it there. And he's trying to draw you to a higher place that you won't just start putting yourself on the little corner and say, pray for me today, pastor. You don't know the opposition I'm against, but you will become the warrior God created you to be where your prayers are no longer about what you lack. They're about how much you got. It's about distribution not collection it's about what should I do with what God gave not what do I need from God today 